All right, hello students. Uh, I'm going to be going over the ADAS LRAS model. I'm breaking this down into three graphs. The first one is going to be a recession. Uh, and then we're going to look at what happens if we have fiscal or monetary action and where it's going to move. And then long run self correction is the other side of it. So whenever we're doing ADAS LRAS, we have to remember that we're looking at an entire nation and everything is in aggregate. So on our y-axis, it's not going to be price, it's going to be price level. And on our x-axis, it's not just going to be quantity, it's going to be GDP, which is the quantity of all products being produced. I pop that little R on there so that they know that I know that it's real GDP. That's never a bad thing to do. I'm going to have my downward sloping aggregate demand curve. Yours is probably going to look a little straighter than mine because writing with a mouse is hard. I'm going to have my upward sloping supply curve. I call this AS. Sometimes they tell you to label this SRAS for short run aggregate supply. Um, so just make sure you follow the instructions if they change that. Then I'm going to dash over here and get my original PL. I'm going to call this PL1. Uh, sometimes it's called PLE for equilibrium price level. Dash down, and this is going to be my Q1, or they love using Y here. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> Puns. All right. So now I have to show that this is a recession because right now it just looks like this economy is doing pretty well. I show this by showing it in relation to long run aggregate supply. Remember, long run aggregate supply is a vertical curve, right? So I'm going to put it to the right of this because this shows full employment or QF. It shows where I want to be, right? Full employment on the production possibilities curve where all of my workers are working, all my factories are full, and everybody is happy, right? So I'm currently producing way down here at Q1 when I should be producing way up here at QF, which means that my GDP is currently below its optimum amount. Or in other words, I have unemployment rising and I have a recession. Okay, so we call this LRAS, long run aggregate supply right there. And now I've effectively shown a recession. In fact, oftentimes this will get you your two or three points on uh, FRQ number one if you know how to draw this. Now, next question almost always when you draw a, a recession is, okay, what should the government do to close this gap? So we have two options. They might say fiscal policy, or they might say, what should the central bank do to close this gap? So let's say that we're closing this gap with fiscal policy. We know fiscal policy, we have two things we can do. We can increase government expenditures, or we can decrease taxes. Both of those things have an expansionary impact. In other words, they will move aggregate demand to the right because government spending is a part of Sigjixson and a reduction in taxes impacts consumption, which is a part of Sigjixson. So with both of those things, we show the impact on our economy where it shifts the curve to the right, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> until we get to triple intersection. I call this AD2. When I'm at triple intersection, at this point, I'm at full employment, exactly where I want to be, and my price level goes up, or I have inflation on my hands. This also is the movement that will be shown if monetary expansionary policy is happening. <clears throat> Sorry. The difference between fiscal and monetary is in monetary policy, it's all started with the central bank. And so that'd be increasing the supply of money, reducing the interest rate, Increasing investment, which is one of the four elements of aggregate demand, is the IG of Sig Jixson, and that moves aggregate demand to the right, fixing our economy. Now, what happens in the long run? Let's say we do nothing. How do we show this in the long run? Well, in the long run, our economy self-corrects. So let's say this aggregate demand never shifted. We're still here at point A, right? What will happen in the long run? Well, all these people who are unemployed, they're going to want to go back to work, and they're going to be willing to work for lower wages. So wages will fall. When wages fall, wages go down, the cost of production or the per unit production cost goes down. That is an element of aggregate supply. So when it costs less to produce, then aggregate supply is going to go up. Businesses are going to produce more. When businesses produce more, aggregate supply shifts to the right, call this AS2. And it gets us back to, I have to draw a giant dot because I didn't even come close to it, back to triple intersection and full employment. That is long run self-correction right there. Okay, I hope that makes a little bit of sense to you and is helpful.